everybody, it's Bunny, and today's video is a very special makeup transformation video inspired and sponsored by Amazon Prime Video's new series called Carnival Row. Carnival Row is debuting on Friday, August 30th, and when I say you don't want to miss this series, you don't want to miss it. They already gave me a sneak peek of the show, and I was able to watch like the first two episodes, and after watching them, when I tell you I was hooked, I was hooked. I honestly wish they would have just sent me like the entire series all at once so that I could have just binge watched it because it was so good. The look that you guys are ultimately gonna see me create today is a look inspired by one of my favorite fairy characters from the show. Her name is Tourmaline. I do think my look turned out just a little bit different, but you guys know me. I have to put my little special twist on everything. I didn't want you guys to like see all of the wig, the wings, the full look like right in the intro of the video. So that is why it is just me in my funky little wig cap right now. I'm very excited for today's makeup video because I'm going to be doing a voiceover for the first time in years. I don't think I've done a voiceover makeup tutorial makeup look in a super long time. Let me know if you guys like this style, if y'all have missed voiceovers, and I can do some more. I'm just going to jump into the makeup tutorial right now while I continue to tell you guys a little bit more about Carnival Row and what you can expect to see in this series. The first couple of steps of my makeup look are really easy, just kind of applying primers and all kinds of stuff like that. So I know a lot of you guys always prefer videos on the shorter side, so I will be listing all of the products and everything like that, but I thought I could kind of jump in with the makeup tutorial. So Carnival Row is a fantasy show starring Orlando Bloom and Cara Delevingne. There are so many things that I love about this show. The way that it is shot is so beautiful and so cinematic. The show takes place in a place called The Berg. And even though The Berg is of course a fictional place, it does have a very Victorian, almost steampunk vibe to it. So you can imagine that is something right up my alley as somebody who is personally very obsessed with with the Victorian era. If you love stuff like that, you are probably going to love this show as well. This show has tons of beautiful, mystical creatures in it. I know I told you guys already a little bit about the fairies, and I am, of course, creating a fairy makeup look today. Not only will you see fairies, you will also see trolls, pucks, centaurs, and some of my other personal favorite mystical creatures, fawns. I definitely cannot wait to watch more episodes, see more of the costuming, more of the special effects makeup, and see how the plot thickens and develops. So far, there's been a hint at a very intriguing, dangerous, forbidden love story between the two main characters, which is Philo, the character played by Orlando Bloom, and then the fairy Vignette, which is played by Cara Delevingne. So you guys, definitely don't forget to check out this show, Friday, August 30th, on Amazon Prime video. I can't wait for you guys to check this show out for yourselves and see all of the mystical, magical creatures. So just jumping into the rest of the voiceover and the makeup tutorial, hopefully it has been easy to follow so far. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the tutorial. Last step of my eyeshadow is to go all over the lid with this very gold shimmery shade in the palette called Electrum. And then we're stopping on eyes for right now. We're gonna move on to other steps, then we're gonna come back, but right now, it is foundation time, and you guys, I am so re-addicted to the Luminous Airbrush system. If you ever have the chance to try airbrush makeup, try it. It is so fast, so easy to use, and it really has buildable coverage for whatever look that you just so happen to be wanting that day. Uh, next, I'm going in with my favorite cream contour product as of late, which is Huda Beauty's Tantor in the shade Fair. It goes on very dramatic. Once you blend it out, it gives you a very nice, warm, sun-kissed look. So I'm going through doing the forehead, the nose, the cheekbones, the chin. Then I'm going in with the Real Techniques Diamond Beauty Sponge Beauty Blender dupe and we are just blending 
blending, blending, uh, and then we're gonna go through and add some concealer. So for that, I am going through with the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless Concealer, and I'm just gonna be putting that under the eyes, and then also, oddly enough, like kind of in the eyebrow region, just to further help me like blend out this eyeshadow look. Also, smile lines and the mustache zone. Once again, going through blending, blending, then we're going back through with the Swamp Queen palette, our very own Swamp Family palette from Tarte. I used it the other day and I'm addicted again. So we are going through with the contour shade called Sweet Tea. So I'm just brushing that all through to set the cream contour. And then I decided to show you guys the character that this look is based off of. Her name is Tourmaline. Uh, very gorgeous, glowy skin. So for that, uh, I'm going through with this pretty vulgar. It's called Just Glow With It, and it is a liquid contour. It's very extreme, and since the character's look is so glowy and extreme, um, extreme with the glowiness, that is what I was trying to replicate here. So I'm laying it on extremely heavy-handed right now, but then I'm going to go back through with the Smashbox concealer and dab a little bit of that on the cheeks, and then we're going to blend it out. Just kind of like further not only giving us an extreme highlight but also just this overall like glowy dewy fairy-esque look and then of course I'm going to set that cream highlight with our very own gator wings dare I say the best highlight ever invented. Then I'm going through with the Tartist Eye Pencil. Uh, one side of this product is a liquid liner and then the other side is a pencil liner. So I am making kind of a thick line on the upper lid with the felt tip liquid side. And then I'm going to be going through with the pencil side and just really smoking and smudging out the lower lash line. Then I'm going in with two types of masks. It is a Lancome, I think it's called like Oscillation. It is the vibrating mascara from Lancome. So I'm going to be putting three coats of that on the top lashes. And then there is a special Clinique mascara for bottom lashes. So I'm going to do one coat of that on my little bottom baby lashes. Next, it's time for lips. So first of all, I am going in with a Huda Beauty Lip Contour Pencil in the shade Trendsetter. And on me, this is kind of a, mm, I almost said nude, but it's not really. It's kind of like, a, how would we describe this color? Somebody in the audience, help me out. Then I am topping it off with, <laughs> this lipstick is literally called Trey Blase. Uh, and it is a new lipstick from from MAC Cosmetics. So I'm just layering those two products together and voila! Uh, next for me, we are going in with the scariest step of this transformation, which is this super duper short wig. And I don't know how I'm gonna shove all of my hair under this thing. I don't think I've ever tried, as a matter of fact, I know I've never tried a wig as short as this. I always go for longer wigs, but hey, the character called for a shorter wig and all of you guys always ask me how I stuff all of my hair underneath the wig cap and it's with a lot of effort, bobby pins and tears. Finally, we were able to pretty much, I think, set this wig on, uh, I almost said our scalps, but it, it's only on my scalp. And uh, literally, I kind of had to live with this thing for like 20 to 30 minutes. I tried to put the elf ears on. I was really going for like an elf fairy-esque ear look, but I don't know. I just didn't think that the combination of the two like looked perfect. I took the ears off, but I added this headband instead. Uh, it's similar to one that Tourmaline wears in the show. I also like went through and tried to loosen up some of the, I think they're called finger waves. <laughs> probably not waves. Uh, it is like kind of a 1920s style in my mind, but I just went through and like ruffled up the wig. Next we are going through with like the most exciting portion of the costume, which is these amazingly realistic fairy wings. And they come from an Etsy seller called Hello Fairy. And if you love fairies, you love mystical creatures, you have got to check her store out. So many custom, amazing, gorgeous wings. Uh, so I was able to get this set and I really feel like that 
pulled the look together. So this is my total completed look and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. A huge thank you once again to Amazon Prime Video and Carnival Row for sponsoring today's magical fairy makeup look. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you like the look, if you're gonna try it out for yourself, if you like voiceover makeup tutorials, and if you're gonna be tuning in and watching Carnival Row. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you'd like to, you can hit the notification bell and then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video to this channel. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!